When I come here to Nagaland, I go down to the land of festivals. I also pay my respects and I also uh, feel great about the rich culture of Nagaland and the people of Nagaland and how they have preserved their culture and how they have preserved their language and their festivals. It is indeed very appreciated. But I can also say that for long the Nagaland was ignored by the previous governments. And it was ignored not only culturally, not only the basic ethos of people of Naga, but also the history of Nagaland. If I talk about the nationalism, I can say that Subhash Chandra Bose was first to establish the Azad Hind government in no other place but in Nagaland itself, in the village called Ruchacho, which makes us understand that how people of Nagaland were assimilated in the national aspirations. And Subhash Chandra Bose first established the Azad Hind government nowhere else except in the pious land of Nagaland that we have to understand. Another thing which I would like to say, which uh, our Honorable Chief Minister has referred, and uh, he talked about the stability which has been brought in the past five years. But here also I would like to say that five years back, Nagaland was known for, or the previous governments were known for Band. Previous governments were known for blockade. Previous governments were known for insurgency. Previous government was known for abduction. And previous government was known for targeted killing. And uh, uh, Y Pattern gave a very vivid description about his uh, days in uh, Kajiranga. He gave a very vivid description. This I didn't know. This was a news to me. But yes, that was the factual situation. But here, under the dynamic leadership of uh, Nephew Rio G, we were able to have a stable government here in Nagaland. And now we can say that Nagaland is a place of peace and prosperity and development that we can say. And that has taken place during his leadership. Friends, I would also like to share with you that things have changed. And here, because the gentry here sitting in front of me, is the opinion makers for the coming elections also. And they are the opinion makers for the stable, strong Nagaland. They are the advocates. They are the ambassadors. You are the crusaders. So I would like to put things in the right perspective. Or we have a huge mineral deposit, including oil. But all this came to a standstill. All the oil fields were shut down. All the explorations were stopped since 1994. And therefore today, the state is in a financial crisis because we don't have our own state resources. And therefore, we have been crying to Government of India for the needs of our infrastructure developments. I had met, written to Honorable Prime Minister and also share with Home Minister Amit Shahji that we have some very long and important pendings. And therefore, we were expecting that Honorable Prime Minister will visit us before the election declaration. 
but he could not come because of his busy schedules. But I'm hopeful because when I asked this question to Amit Shahji, he said that all those points will be taken into our common minimum program and we'll try to implement one by one. So we're looking for that and I hope it will come out timely. We have submitted the papers to our friends, Rituras Sina, and therefore I hope he will take good care of that and bring out on time. NDPP BGP Align is on the strong ground and we are confident with the blessing of God and the mandate of the masses. Our combination will return to run the affairs of the state in the next term too. We believe that NDPP and BGP will come back with thumping majority, which will definitely cross 40. That is my belief, and we are working towards that. We are in the midst of campaign and moving around, so your visit here to launch the joint campaign is a welcome step. And in this joint campaign, will bring us closer and more understanding. We are also looking forward to welcoming the Honorable Prime Minister and the Union Home Minister to campaign. And we are waiting and excitedly looking forward to work under their leadership in the coming years. The development vision of Prime Minister Modiji and his government is well appreciated all over the country and in the Northeast. And with this positivity impacted by the initiative taken by his leadership together as inspired to take all aspects of Nagaland towards a state of excellence. 